Okay, so I have this which is bigger problem on the board. This came from, so in the last video, at the end of the video, in the previous video what I did is I compared two to the 99 versus nine, 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 nine squared. And then so the question from the last video was, how many nines would I need for this to become bigger? Or you could look at it either way, what is the maximum for this to still be bigger? But basically we want to know what's the break-even point for the number of nines that we would need. What I found was it actually is a little bit tricky to work with 2 to the 99. So what I thought I would do is switch it and kind of cheat and work with 2 to the 100. And then so we have a straightforward, which is bigger problem, 2 to the 100th power versus not a string of nines, 15 nines long squared. So we'll work on that problem. And maybe we can come back to this later. But first we'll do something similar to what we did in the last problem. We found out in the last problem we established that 2 to the 10th equals 1024, which is greater than 10 cubed. And we can use that again. And then, let's see, we also know that, so we found that 9999 was less than 10 to the fourth. So you see this is four nines. And so that's gonna be true with however many um, nines we do. So like if this is 15 nines long, this is gonna be less than 10 to the 15. So what we'll do, let's just call, we'll call this long number so I don't have to keep trying to write it out. We'll call this x, the, but we really what we wanna work with is x squared. And so we're saying x, so we're saying x is less than 10 to the 15th, but what we really want to deal with is x squared, which is going to be less than 10 to the 30th, squaring both sides here. So then on our, dealing with our left side, the twos, we want to turn this into a third, we want, we want 10 to the third, but we want to compare to 10 to the 30th. So if I take 2 to the 10 is greater than 10 cubed, I'll take the 10th power on both, both sides. And so you see why I kind of wanted to get away from the 99, because I wanted to get it to 100, so I cheated. And then so we can say that oh, and this is to the 10th. And so this equals 10 to the 30th. So from that, we can say multiplying this, we have 2 to the 100th is greater than 10 to the 30th. But then using this, 10 to the 30th is greater than x squared. So then we can basically solve it and say that 2 to the 100th is greater than our 15 nines, which is x squared. Can I write 15 nines without messing up? Yes, and that's it. So then I'll give you, so that actually, by making that cheat and making that 100, it actually makes it a lot easier. So then my challenge question, my homework problem for you to try, this is hard. So um, this is the problem that I couldn't solve. So my challenge for you is, which is bigger, 299 versus this whole thing squared, which is bigger. So if you can solve that, put that in the comments and uh, then I'll learn something too.